this is about the Kenya that we want. This is not about William Ruto. And this is not about Kalenjins. We, the Gen Z, we understand that for William Ruto to be president in a corrupt system, he must be the most corrupt person for him to be president. What we are telling him is, Mr. President, we've given you a chance. We've given you a chance to be the hero of the moment, to transform the nation the way other presidents never got an opportunity to transform the nation. This is about systemic corruption. This is about failure of the state. Before we ask where did Ford Foundation money go, let's first ask, where did the money that we got funding from IMF go? Where did the money that we got from the World Bank go? Where is the 10.2 trillion that we've borrowed? And why did we borrow without the approval of parliament? If we borrowed, can we apportion it to a specific development project? Now we know, William Ruto, it's difficult for you to audit the debt and apportion it to a development project because somehow it will be discovered that you had uh, a piece of that money, that Uhuru had a piece of that money, and Raila had a piece of that money during the handshake government, and this will unite the political class against the citizens. We know that that money might have gone to your pocket. It's okay. We are not, we are not trying to arrest you or take you to ICC or do anything to you. We just want to know how much did we lose. to And this is not about the rich or the poor. This is not about this tribe or that tribe. So if you are a Gen Z, a young person like myself, no uko social media you are celebrating, unasema asante sana rais umetuchagulia mkisi wetu. Asante sana rais umetuchagulia mluya wetu. You are foolish and you need to occupy your brains before you occupy JKIA. You need to remember that this is not about tribe. This is about systems. We need our systems to work so that even if we choose a madman as our president, the systems will discipline this person to work the way other presidents have worked. Okay? So if you are out there and you are saying, oh, these Gen Z demonstrators, they have now become unreasonable, the president listened, the president has never listened, and he has proved that he will never listen. The president did not sign the finance bill, but he signed the appropriations bill. Let me ask you something. If you don't sign the budget, but you sign the expenditure, what have you achieved? Nothing. It means he is not going to raise the money through the taxes, but he's going to raise it through borrowing. So at the end of the day, he'll still spend what he wanted to spend when we want to decrease government spending. The president dismissed his cabinet, but he has brought back that cabinet. And whoever he didn't bring back, he told them, give me your PA or give me your girlfriend or give me your assistant PA to come and hold this office for you. Meaning, the president is not interested in change of good governance. The president can only appoint you to the cabinet if you know how to steal. If you are not a good thief, then he will not appoint you because the money you're stealing, you're not stealing it for yourself, you're stealing it for him. We are telling William Ruto, you usually carry a Bible. We want to see the contents of whatever is in that Bible. We want you to lead this nation to a better place. And if you are unable, we are just saying, please resign. Give us an opportunity. We, the young people of this country, this is our country. It's our business. We can run it. We are not unable. We are not incompetent. We are not uneducated. If you can't do it, just...